I made it. Oh, I'm bored. Thank you. Oh, that's <laughs> like, in case you're like, <laughs> yes. So, originally, Lily and I wanted to go to Lake Como today and tomorrow, but with timing and transportation, and it was a little bit hard to find somewhere to eat lunch. So, <laughs> by the time we even were finished with everything, thought it was just better to just do that tomorrow. So, we're just going to wake up a lot earlier and just do that tomorrow. But right now, we're just going to go to, like, the center of Milan and just start there and then do things around there. But Lily's already been here for like a few days, so she at least knows. Oh, I don't know anything, so. so warm it's so hard to vlog when i'm with someone else but yeah it's so hard to like give updates and stuff but to be honest i feel like we haven't done that much because i'm not trying to give any hate to milan but this is probably not gonna be a very long video now it's very nice here and like the shop's really nice you know the food's good but there's not as much to do. I mean, we went to the Duomo yesterday, we walked around there, the Galleria. I'm not buying anything because nothing's gonna fit in my Ryan and size travel backpack. And also not paying money for all that. We walked around a little bit, we got gelato, we sat kind of in this little fountain area and we went to a park, we went to get drinks. Like we've been doing like little things here and there but it's not as like boom, 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 because a lot of the things that I've recommended to do, it doesn't take that long unless you're gonna go inside. So we just didn't do a lot yesterday. So that's why I'm thinking that maybe this video won't be too long, but you never know. So today, ah, so excited, but keep watching because it's gonna get better um, if it hasn't been good so far. But we're gonna go to Lake Como today. I'm so excited. We were supposed to do that yesterday. Yeah, we were supposed to go to Lake Como yesterday and go to Lake Como today. But by the time I got in and then checked in, put my stuff away, we went to go look for something to eat. But the hostel is not like in the center, like central Milan, um, but it's not like far. But so in this area, 
everything was literally closed for lunch. Like even the restaurant attached to the hostel. And so we were like, where do we eat? We walked around a bunch and that's kind of what took more time. And then we asked the receptionist and he was like, oh, well, there's a shop like next door and they have really, really good food. And that food was really good. Yes, yeah, so we went next door and it was really, really good. I got this like ball, like eggplant ball, fried eggplant ball thing. I love eggplant, so that was really, really good. And then I got uh, like a rolled pizza or f like folded pizza, but not a calzone. And it was more like soft. I don't know, it was very, very good. And that was a cheap meal. But by the time that we did that and we ate, we were like, okay, well, it's already four in the afternoon, I wanna say. I just think it wouldn't have been worth it. Then I'm like, well, then we can just wake up earlier today, like for Saturday, and we can just go for a super, super long day, like a long day trip. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm very excited for that because to be honest, I only wanted to come to Lake Como. Don't really care for Milan, but I may change my mind. Just Milan is, Milan's just like a big European city. And I just wanna be by the water. It's really, really warm here right now. It was like 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know Celsius. Maybe I'll put a little conversion, but it was 70, 70 degrees Fahrenheit yesterday. And I was like, if we were near the water, this would be amazing. But walking around, like, I just felt eh. So, yeah. So we're doing that today. And then Lily leaves 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So she has to be at the airport at like 3 in the morning. So I'll have half of the day to myself on Sunday. Then you'll see my little journey back to Madrid because it's going to take a minute. But basically, I'm in this bathroom right now. This is the ground level bathroom. There's two floors that people can stay on in this hostel is what I'm getting at. So there's the ground floor and then the first floor. So I'm on the first floor and I think the ground floor is for private rooms. And that's why I'm using the bathroom down here because they have their own bathroom in there where I'm sharing one bathroom with seven other girls and there's no other mirrors. Like the only mirror is in the bathroom. So the girls that are getting ready are using the mirror in the bathroom, which means you can't go to the bathroom or you can't take a shower and then there's also an additional bathroom on your floor but if i can't use the one in my room and then the other girls are using the one on my floor i have to come to this one and that's why i always try to wake up early to get the use out of the bathroom just in case i'm in that situation then this morning i went to grab my stuff for the shower and the girl's like um i i dropped something in the toilet so i have to call the reception so you can't use it and i was just like okay so i i mean i didn't do that i was just like okay that's fine i'm not i don't want to use that bathroom anyways and this bathroom is bigger so i'm using this one so i'm going to take a shower i'm going to wash my face brush my teeth i was like do i have all my stuff i have all my stuff behind me so yeah take a shower wash my face brush my teeth um i'm not going to do makeup but i think i'm just going to just fill in my eyebrows to make them look more defined. I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna be in like Como from like 11 to like 11.30 to like 8.30 today. And to be honest, we just kind of want to like, just like relax and just see everything. Um, this whole trip, my allergies have been very, very, very bad. I have really bad eye allergies. I don't look that bad um, right now, but yesterday my, my eyes were so swollen and puffy. But yeah, so I'm gonna get ready. I think it's eight. 15 right now i once again i can't sleep in to save to save my life i think i woke up at 7 30 this morning and i think i went to sleep at 1 30 um because i was working on my pinterest so i love pinterest but i like to upload my my photos because i take a million anyway so i might as well i don't know get followers from it or whatever and i get all of my ideas all my inspiration from there that and youtube those are my two main sources and now tiktok so that's what I use the most. And I guess that's what I post on the most because I appreciate people that give me all the information. Okay, I'm gonna get ready because I'm sweating. No, I'm not, but I'm just very warm and I don't want anyone to be like, hurry up. So.
Yeah. ended off the vlog yesterday but Lake Como we went to Lake Como Bellagio and Verena I want to say I don't know if I'm pronouncing those right I mean I know I'm pronouncing Lake Como right so I got something but we went to those three stops yesterday and the transportation was a little bit difficult to understand um and there were like long lines and like waiting times and you know, you don't want to be wasting your time in line all day or like traveling. Today I leave Italy. So sad. I leave Milan. My flight is at 5.30, 5.35. I don't know what my flight is. It's on my, I wrote it down. But it takes a while to get to the airport. So I really don't have that much time. And I don't even know if I should really do anything today because I have to check out in less than an hour. Once I pack up all of my stuff, they have a storage unit here or whatever, so I can keep my backpack and all of my stuff here. So I don't know if I should just go to get breakfast and eat that and then go to the rooftop of the Duomo. And I think that's really all I have time for. Like I really don't have that much time. So basically if I, if I get all my stuff ready and I bring my backpack with me, and I don't keep it in the storage area so I don't have to come back here. I would have more time doing more things. Um, but honestly, I don't really know what I want to do. And I don't know if I'm able to bring a backpack into Duomo. So that's kind of what I'm... I don't know. Like, to be honest, I don't really think there's anything else that I really want to do here. I wanted to go to 
Leonardo da Vinci's garden, but I didn't do that. So, and I didn't buy tickets and I don't want to buy tickets anymore. But I, I don't, I really don't want to waste my day. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to pack up all of my stuff. I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to eat the food that was left in the fridge. Lily got a chicken sandwich yesterday and she didn't finish it. So I'm going to eat that. She had like half of it. So I'm going to eat the rest of that. And then I'll head to Duomo area in the middle of Milan, like the central. See as much as I can do while I'm there. Then I'll head to the airport after that. I think that's a better idea. So I'm not just going back and forth and back and forth. And then I can manage my time a little bit better. And to be honest, I'm probably going to end up at the airport kind of early. So anything that I don't pack, I can just like repack everything. Because I think I'm going to like change my outfit and like all of that stuff. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to change my outfit for the for the flight going back. Because then I'll be on a bus for five hours after that. Like there, the travel, you'll... The travel time you'll see, I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna include all of the traveling I'm doing to get back to Madrid. Um, but if I do, I don't know. It'll be a trip. I think I'll be very, very tired today. But yeah. Oh, and let me explain something more. So the transportation, the transportation going back to Madrid, just in case I don't add in any video clips. So here's what we got going. I need to head to the central train station of Milan. Once I'm there, I can get a bus that takes me to the airport. And I think that bus ride is like almost an hour long. So just like time I have to take account to. Um, because I haven't been to the to the airport here. So I just want to make sure I have enough time to do everything. And then I'm not flying back to Madrid. So I'm going to be flying into Alicante, which is, I think it's a little south of Valencia. So I'm flying into there and I should get in around 7 30 I think I get in around 7 30 7 40 I can't talk today I'll be getting in at like 7 30 7 45 I think and then at night then I'm probably gonna get dinner somewhere or if Starbucks is open or something fucking ambulance that is the most that is the most annoying sound where is it you can hear that ambulance for so so long like it was so far away like it just passed wow my bus to go back to Madrid, it's at 12.45 in the morning, and then I'm on it for like five, five and a half hours, I don't know. I get in at 6.30 in the morning, which I did that intentionally because, here's the thing, I booked things a little last minute because I didn't know my plan and like, I didn't know if I was going to be with like friends or not, because I've been doing more solo traveling, which I like solo traveling. I don't think I like going on trips with friends, like they can be in the same place as me and we can do things together here and there. But, like, I don't want to stay with someone for, like, over a week. <laughs> so, I'm just going to get going, and then I'll be back in Madrid tomorrow morning. So, it was a very fun trip. Um, but, like I said, I don't know if I have a lot of footage for Milan, because I don't. I really don't think there's that much to do here. Ba like, I'm comparing this to other cities that I've been to. There's just a lot more to do. But if you're not shopping in Milan you could probably get everything done in one day. Like you can, there's there's things to do, but um, some of the things I don't want to do, so it's like, I'm not going to do them and I don't want to pay for something to, if it doesn't sound interesting to me. So you can, and even if they, even if you want to go into a bunch of like different things or like gardens or parks or whatever, you could still get all of that done in one day in Milan. So if you are someone, I don't know, I think Milan is still very, very nice, but it's just not really a city that I would probably come back to, to enjoy my time in the city. I would come back to Milan so I could go to Lake Como and do that again. That was super nice. So, but this is just like a personal preference. So no one get upset at me, just my opinion. And you know what? Maybe I didn't do the right things. Maybe there's more to do and I just didn't figure it out. So if that's the case, let me know and I can always come back. You know what I mean? That's my that's my favorite saying. Whenever something doesn't go as planned or if I'm stressed out with traveling, all I say is I can always go back. So I said that about Madrid and now I live and I work in Madrid. So I did it. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to end this segment off right now. But I hope you enjoyed my Juan, Lake Como, all of that vlog for this trip. Thank you.